heat is on. When a woman delivers a baby, there's so much excitement around it and a lot of support. You know, the doctors and nurses and maybe families in the delivery room. And there may also be a doula. That's a person, no formal training in obstetrics, but they're employed to provide guidance and support to the woman during her pregnancy and then during delivery. Well, what if there was someone who would do that when we are prepared to leave this world? In fact, there is. There are end-of-life doulas and and Suzanne O'Brien is with Doula Givers, and she is an end-of-life doula who has um, really helped spark a trend in this community. And uh, we're trying out some new equipment. We're going to be able to talk to Suzanne via Skype. There she is. Hi, Suzanne. Good to have you with us. Hi, Benita. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. You know, you've really been on the forefront of being an end-of-life doula. Give us a thumbnail sketch of what that means and, you know, from when you started to now. An end-of-life doula is exactly what you said. The word doula is a Greek word that means non-medical person that gives support physically, emotionally, and spiritually to someone else. And if you are doing this at end of life, what does that look like? Well, Benita, I want to thank you because you were one of the first people to really interview me back, I think it was 2013. And in 2012, I went on a volunteer mission to donate time in Africa, in Zimbabwe. And it was there that I got this really strong concept for a doula at the end of life. What do you do? What that looks like is the power of your presence in a holistic model is so powerful and it might be the most powerful medicine quote unquote that we have to serve people at the end of life, the power of our presence, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Do you hold their hand? Do you provide comfort physically, emotionally to the person, to their family? So first I come in for, I have to be obviously educated and comfortable in the end of life space. And if you're going to be a professional doula, which is now a profession, you need to really know what you're doing and have training. That's what I first recommend. What you do is you, number one, meet the patient where they are. Mm -hmm. What does that mean though? Everything. So remember that we're holistic beings. So it's not just End of life is not just a physical experience. It is emotional, it's spiritual, it is physical. So we do anything and everything that is needed in that moment for not just the patient, but for the patient's loved ones as well. What kinds of things might you do? What are you asked to do? So for instance, um, I usually get a call and we need an end of life doula. So I will show up, first of all, I walk in with no agenda only to be of the highest service. So I'm here to guide that patient and family in this end of life process, which could be the most stressful time in their whole life um, and have it be their journey. But I, it's hard for me, for anybody to know what this really is. So first like. I'll come in a lot of the times, one of the first questions that I'm given is how much time do I have? Oh. So a lot of times I'll sit down with a patient and we'll talk about their journey. We'll talk about how they're feeling at this moment. And of course, the first thing we want to do always is address what you call acute issues. An acute issue is something that is jumping out that needs to be dealt with right away. Pain, nausea. So you work as part of the team. First, I think you have to really digest the fact that dying is not a medical experience. It's a human experience. So what it looks like is I'm going to show up for you and I'm going to support you in this last phase of life, meaning that if you're having pain, nausea, anything jumping out that we need to deal with, I take care of that first. But then there's a whole emotional component to end of life. And you might want to share. With Absolutely. We are in a intricate part of that end of life care team and if you can understand that right now in our healthcare system we don't have a lot of actual time at the bedside with patients anywhere the doula is able to fill that gap of time that at the end of life is so vitally important so we're an intricate part of the care the whole care team this has captured the attention if you will the heart of oprah winfrey you've been tapped to be one of her ambassadors what is that 
how did you you get that and and, and honor really and, and what, what will you be doing stands for in my opinion and i think many people's opinions a great magazine holistically empowering people to live their best life now and again that that is in a holistic manner so it's physically emotionally spiritually putting it out there and because they believe in this platform and the work that i'm doing they have given me a wonderful opportunity to be an O Insider and an ambassador for Oprah Magazine for 2020. And what that means is we will work together to promote positivity on what I do, but also again, to share what they're doing in the same way that we want to raise up people and have them live their best life because the best end of life is a life well lived. Mm. Well said. And, you know, you said it earlier that we, you know, we often make um, medical, if you will, something very natural and normal, and that would be end of life. So for someone who may be facing their final, uh, their final curtain, how do they find someone who's an end of life doula to be there to help them in this journey, to help their families? Well, I'm so happy to announce that there are national initiatives now in place since the beginning of the inception of this concept. And one of the best resources is the National End of Life Doula Alliance. And that website has all a list of practitioners um, who are working all over the country and even outside of the country. Doula Givers as well has a Doula Givers directory on our website. You can find practitioners there as well. Suzanne O'Brien, thank you so very much. All the best as you go forward to help uh, spread the positivity that you talk about. And uh, I'll make sure that we've got a link on our website right here, WNYT.com, to doula givers. Again, Suzanne, thanks so very much. Thank you, too, for checking out this edition of Healthy. We'll see you next time.